Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cage Siders. Jeremy Long along with my co-host Angelo Reyes. We're joined in the in the studio right now by a very special guest, the once and future champion of the world, yeah. Berman Stavern. Joining us, thank you so much for uh, you know stepping in the studio with us, man. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, no, man. I, I, I know you're getting ready to travel to Miami. You're doing your, your big star within the Haitian community. And, and I'm excited because I want to hear it straight from the source. Everybody, you know, we, we talked about Joshua versus Klitschko. Yeah. Then everyone started talking about Deontay Wilder this, Deontay Wilder that. And me and Jeremy were like, hold on. Wait, there's another Wait guy in there. Right. How is everyone forgetting the man who knocked out Chris Ariola, yeah. the WBC champ? You guys had that fight with uh, Deontay Wilder, but I know you you were sick during that fight, and you are the mandatory. Look up the word, people. Mandatory, <laughs> mandatory. which means Deontay Wilder has to fight you. Can you right. talk to us about that? I mean, what, what else to say? <laughs> mandatory. <laughs> You know, uh, just like you said, he has to fight me. So, you know, it's not something that he wants, obviously, you know. Right. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> he has to. Now, agreements are already set, right? Mauricio right. Suleiman already said, hey, this is your next fight period. Right. Um, so, any developments with it? Do you know when it might well, be? I, I know his promoter and my promoter, or his advisor <laughs> and my promoter, uh, had a, some kind of agreement. So now it's pretty much uh, the venue and the date. Wow! A wow. done deal! <laughs> right here, Cage Cider fans, we're telling you. Deontay Wilder, Berman Stavern, done deal. Just all about the uh, where, when. And, and, and you know what I even like, and let me talk about this too, because this happens a lot in boxing. A lot of times with money involved, they'll sit there and they'll say, oh, okay, well, you know what? We need you to step aside. We need you to step aside. So right. here's some cash. Step aside so we can make this Anthony Joshua fight. Can you tell us, Berman, when, that, when they tried to do that with you, what did you say? I, did, I never answered. <laughs> <laughs> never answered, right? I, mean, I, I never give them a official answer, you know. I never had a chance to... Uh, uh, you know, um, obviously, I'm not interested in uh, any, any kind of money they have or um, for me to move out the way. That's not going to happen. Um, and the only way it's going to happen is, uh, well, it can't happen because I'm on the way. So. <laughs> now, now, Chip, tell me this. You know, I mean, off, obviously, they, they offer you step aside money and stuff like that. But why, why choose to face the champ again instead of taking that step aside money and, and maybe face the champ at a later time? So this is what I do. Man. I mean, you know, we all fight every fighter, every athlete in the world would love to uh, uh, compete for the uh, a world championship event. You know, that's what I do. And um, uh, listen, what what better way to uh, 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 um, to fight? <laughs> To become champion and then get paid at the same time. Right. <laughs> so, right, right. So just get paid and move out the way. Nah, I'm not. I'm not that type of uh, person. Um, you know, uh, like I said, it's 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 it's, it's all about. Um, I do this for a reason. I do it for real. So, right. um, there's no way that I would uh, accept uh, uh, any kind of money to uh, move out the way for him to uh, um, do what he wants to do. See, now, this is the type of warriors and the type of fighters we need in right. order for boxing to get back to be a, a number one uh, combat sport. Because you see how he talks? He's like, I'm a fighter. That's what I want to do. I want to fight you. Why are you trying to avoid me anyways? Right? right. Because you could, I mean, honestly, let's be honest right here. You could take on lesser opponents. I mean, honestly, you could take step aside money and then maybe you could take on a, a little bit easier fight, as they say. But you don't want that. You want to face no. the champ and get that belt back. I mean, just like I, um, I gave him the chance to uh, to fight for the title because he was my mentor, and I could have fought uh, a fight or two uh, as a uh, option, optional, and asked the WBC for a favor. You know, I could have done that, which I didn't do that. Uh, he was my uh, mentor. He was the number one, and I chose to fight him. Right. You know. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, so we do this baby now. <laughs> now. Now, I'll tell you, see, and he's right. Now, I can tell you why maybe a lot of different people want to stay away from a guy like this, because getting a chance to see him train with Don House, getting a chance to have him help us when we were on that great knockout run with Frank Mir, right, and he right. was the man that was helping us out uh, with that, this showing guy, Frank. Oh, yeah, was he was in there with right yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, right. and, and I'll tell you, I mean, Frank's even told me that some of the punches this guy would throw with his huge 20-ounce gloves would almost break his, you know, ribs because he hit so hard. So, Berman is kind of like Joe Frazier in this bigger, stronger body. Wow. He could knock you out with the left hand. He could knock you out with the right hand. He knocked out Chris Ariola. Anytime in any space of the ring, you're always in danger. Right. You know, sometimes I know, like, I've seen you where you'll lay back on the rope. And I would even say to Frank, like, hey, man, don't go falling for that one. Because he'll lay back on the rope. <laughs> the next yeah. thing you know, he's looking for that timing shot. He's yeah. looking for that left hook. Um, so you are a dangerous opponent for anyone. Um, we watched the Joshua fight. We watched yeah. how he did. I actually thought in my head, man, how cool would it be if uh, Berman and Joshua <laughs> fought? Uh, can I ask you that one real quick? Like, Let's say here you are. You got your, your rematch with Deontay Wilder. You beat him. You're the new WBC champ. Unification fight between you and Joshua. How do you think that one would go? Um, Joshua is, uh, I believe that his style is uh, very telling me for me. Uh, I believe that uh, he's um, kind of like an areola, bigger, I don't know, taller, uh, bigger. And, uh, they got, they got the same similar style. They don't, he's tall, but he doesn't fight like he's uh, tall. He fights like he's tall, yeah, um, short. Um, I, I believe that uh, guys like these are, 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 are telling me for me. You know, I love guys like this. You know, you, I could. <laughs> so you want maneuver. that fight? You want uh, that fight? Not right now. Right now, what, what, what's in my mind and what, 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 what I'm, I concentrate on is, 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 is the, the, the rematch with. Uh, with uh, Wilder, so I don't have any interest in anything else right now. All right, now how is this? Now we know it's definitely going to happen, unless of course Deontay Wilder plays some political game <laughs> and steps aside somehow, some way, you know, running for our man from our man here. How's that second rematch going to go down this time around? Well, way different from the first time. <laughs> way different, you know. Uh, you live in the and you learn. Um, made some mistakes uh, in the past, um, which. You know, cost me the uh, uh, the fight, uh, the championship. Uh, you know, um, actually, I, I think it's that loss at the time. You know, it was something that was very uh, hard for me to swallow and accept. Um, but when I look back at it, you know, probably for a year, I think it's the greatest thing that, that happened to me. Wow. You know, um, not just uh, in in the ring, but outside the ring as well. You know. You know, once you get to be a champion, you got all kinds of, all kinds of people, all kinds of <laughs> people and things that just, you know, <laughs> pops up, you know. But um, like I said, it's that loss is probably, uh, uh, I'm not saying that because now I, I have a chance to fight for the title again. I'm just saying that because the truth is probably uh, the best thing that happened to me, that, that loss that, that happened. Um, um, uh, make me better and will make me better, so I would have a chance to be um, a two-time NBA champ. Wow, man! You can feel it from him, right? Mm -hmm. The glow. He's got that glow right now. Right, that right. I'm about to whoop on this dude, get my belt back, and um, and yeah, you're right, champ. You know, it's I, I I've seen that before. Where when you're the champ, everybody comes and sees you, right? Mm -hmm. But what matters is, okay, when you're not the champ, who's still stuck around? And I know you have a very good team. You got Don House. You got. Reggie Jones, you got all these guys that have been with you. You know, we always ride with you. Frank's right there. I'm yeah. right there for you, you know. So let's make this happen. Stop playing around. Deontay. I cannot wait to see this, man. I want to see the rematch. <laughs> My man at full health yeah. versus Deontay Wilder. Come on. Buy that right now. I don't, I don't even care who's on the undercard. It's true. I'd buy it right now, too. Champ, thank you so much for joining us in the studio, man. We appreciate it. Best of luck in your training camp and everything. Looking forward Summertime, maybe fall for this rematch. Hey, as long as I'm the next one. <laughs> there you go. That's all that matters. As long as he's the next one. All right, stick around, K Sider fans. When we come back, we're gonna have more. Angelo, Gammy, the champ for me. All right, see you after the break.